Welcome back to Let's Play No More Heroes. I'm Burning Dog Face. I'd like to start off this episode by giving a shout out to Clunk279, uh, who leaves a comment that says, I just realized that Santa Destroys Coroners must be having a nightmarish workload right now. To which Derek Floyd replies, Orderlies pouring buckets of viscera and random body parts onto the exam table. Nobody knows if these parts are all from the same guy. You resort to rubber stamping death certificates with exploded as the cause of death. Oh dear. That does sound about right. Oh, uh, there was another one in here I wanted to read. Ah, here we are. Shout out to Yornick who says... Oh god. I have to assume this is about one of the shots where I was recharging the katana during the bad girl fight. Because what he says is, uh... A dude jacking off while the girl nearby is on the ground sobbing and crying? That's some dark, dark shit for sure! And then a D-mouth smiley face. Oh, and coincidentally, LB dollars stands for light bulb dollars. It could have been silly, but the truth is... Darker. Much darker. Because light bulbs are the most important thing in Santa Destroy. Sure, during the day it's all weird and cool, but when the sun sets, anything not lit up becomes a place for the darkness. It's waiting to strike, waiting to kill. Why? Because the darkness is hungry. The darkness is always hungry. This load of scary, grim, and hopeless stuff has been generously provided by our guest commenter, Stephen King. Not really, he's got way more important shit to do. So thank you for that, Yornick. <laughs> oh, boy. Come on in, brother. Oh yes, Rock Snake, that's right. And Bizarre Jelly, a blinding pink, pure white lover bizarre jelly jacket. Only made to order. Oh god damn it, this is absolutely something Travis would wear, but it's so garish! Oh my god! <laughs> Should I wear this nonsense to the final fight? Oh no. Spartan, a blood-red shirt with a monotone print of a helmet. Communicates silent, brooding strength. Movie Star. A movie t-shirt featuring some oddly familiar faces. The original reference and maker remain unclear, however. What? Oh, whatever, man. Fudo, a striking t-shirt from which Akala, one of the Buddhist deities, that's a weird coincidence, glares menacingly. The contrast between the black and red is very hip. Oh dear. Well, that's a slur. A simple t-shirt, blue printed on white, neck is accented. Yeah, the shirt itself just says boring children can be helped. I'm not going to read what it's called because I might actually be able to get flagged for that. Hold up, man. A striking t-shirt that puts everyone on the wrong end of a gun. Bold monotone print really catches the eye. Oh, Denki Bosatsu. Ah, a fine Japanese sake. That's right, I did know that. I did check that. Oh no! Pure white lover, a pretty fancy pair of white jeans and a big back pocket and heart marks on the side. Only one pair exists, and it was ordered along with the bizarre jelly jacket. That thing you ordered hasn't come in yet. Pink Bomb, the pastel colored bell that uses pink on white. It's part of the bizarre jelly set. Burning Dog fans, I have realized my destiny. <laughs> Alright, here we go! 
But bizarre jelly. Oh, my dollary dues. Well, easy come, easy go. But I'm going to need to earn so much money from this. Oh, man. I might have to take a couple days of not recording in order to, uh... Just grind out money from, like, the, the gamble job or the hundred man job or something. Fucking Fable style. All right. My hopes and dreams... Your white lover bot. And the pink bomb belt. <laughs> oh, Travis. Take care now, brother. Take care now, brother. I'm surprised I didn't lead in with that thing you ordered has finally come in. Word that he still needs to pay for it. I never noticed before this specific jacket, but the high collar, the pointed hair... He kind of gives off a vibe like an Elvis impersonator. Maybe it's the white pants doing it. I kind of want to give another try to the, uh, the ramp jump. It is kind of a pain to do, though. Oh, that's right! Why I just realized... I was thinking to myself, well, it's too bad that, uh, my outfit doesn't have any green on it anymore, but then I realized the sword is green now. That's the most important one. Watch this guy be one of the bosses in the next game, having ascended to first class. Third rate man, I finally figured out the secret to the first class. And he's like fucking floating above the ground and tea posing like he's ascended to a higher plane of existence. What I really like is that he's not a huge weeb for, uh, you know, like Dragon Ball or, uh, whatever, you know? It's... No, no, it's this extremely pretty magical girl anime. I mean, I don't think there's anything wrong with a guy enjoying pretty things, but... Pop culture did not agree in 2007. Let's just say that. Oh, I can't hit those. Oh, I just realized these shoes match very well. Which is good, because I can't change those. Oh my god, wow. I feel like that was further than before. <laughs> Victory! That's actually pretty good.
A brand new free fight mission can now be selected. Can't even see it on the map with all this stuff there. I do not see one of those icons flashing. Well, fuck, where is it? Okay, that one to the left there. Okay, that one to the right here is the school. I don't remember one off to the side of that. Mind you, I thought the uh, the job thing was where the blue thing is, so... Hmm, I don't love that. And by the way, I don't know that I'd commented on it before. But I really, really like God damn it, that the uh, the design for Suplex Burger, or whatever it's called, Burger Suplex, the roof is designed to look like a wrestling ring, and I like that. Complete with the turnbuckles and the ropes. And yet, the burger model is clearly clipping through the ropes, so I don't know how they messed that one up. Oh. Well, while I'm throwing all my money away, I might as well check out Beefhead Video. Travis, you couldn't have come over at a better time, huh? You're not gonna believe your eyes. Or were you the one who kept talking with the thing? No, you were the one who kept talking with the thing that came in. Why was... Never mind. Glass. Am I missing something there? No, that, why are there only the four videos? It's not like they're hugely interactive. I mean, I mean the different wrestling moves are funny. Let's be clear. It's just they're all the same. It does a shitload of damage to the guy. He ends up on the ground. Maybe he dies. Like, the, the only thing that changes is the direction of the inputs and the animation. Frankly, you're probably better off not getting any of them, and, and uh, so that it will always be from the same small pool of throws. So you don't get surprised by what the inputs you need to enter are. I don't know. Maybe they're stronger. No, I guess that one was there. Piss! So I genuinely have no idea where it is, because I didn't memorize the locations of all the other ones. Huh. Don't love that. Oh, it's an orange dot there, but I guess it's just part of that beach. When you zoom out all the way, you just see the one square. I do, however, see one last pink dot up there. Or I don't know if it's the last one, but... Oh. Well, that's no good. I wanted to reset. Get back to the house so I could be closer to that dot. Head out after it. Maybe over here. 
There we go. Fuck, I can't even tell if I'm going north for sure. Okay, yes. I keep forgetting I can just hit start on the map and close it back out to the game. Oh. Okay, not where, the, where I thought the bridge was. Where the fuck am I? Uh... Here we are. Pink dot, pink outfit, this should be perfect. Oops. I don't even feel the rumbling. There we go, rumble. Uh... No, back this way. Hey, girls. Yeah! that means there's a couple more I missed, or if uh, there's just no achievement for getting them all. Hmm. Most of that line there is the Mexican border. Well, maybe I did get them all, but still! I think that was the intersection where I pick up garbage sometimes. Turn that way. Or wait, there could be garbage. Oh, there is garbage! <gasps> oh. oh. But... <gasps> Travis, what are you doing? In fact, I know how to get this out of there. This would have helped a lot at the very beginning of the game when I got it stuck and felt like I was doing a terrible job. Travis! Hey, it's a bad day. <laughs> oh, I thought it was okay. Well, while I'm here, I might as well try to get some money. Well, fine. If you're going to do that, I'm going to do this. And you can stay here forever! Can't remember which one is the hard one. Fuck. I mean, I might lose anyway, but, you know, I've gotten gold in this one, I think. Can't believe you wear these pants to a fight, Travis. Of course you would. Oh, wow, he, he did that. 
Hang on, I was blocking. I must have hit started to attack then. Alright, let's actually try this one. Oh, and there's the timer, so I guess this will be the one go. The, word, the annoying part is, I could absolutely do this every time if I didn't have a time limit. I just need to play it super defensively, but I cannot, because there's a time limit. I kind of like the contrast with the skull, the skull, the, uh, the skeleton shirt. Death to you! Take that! Off with your everything! One hit wonder. Okay, I'll go. It'll be great. Oh, it's perfect! Thank you! Not what I meant to do, but that works too. Thanks, Professor Lovikov. Come on, come on. You will experience agonizing pain and then death. Do not panic, this is normal. Oh shit! No! Balls! I was so close! Ah! Leaves a bad taste in my mouth. Well, I'm poorer than before, but I am about a thousand percent more stylish. At least in Travis's eyes, so, uh... I'll consider that an improvement. Hey, sorry about that. I just wanted to, uh, redo the outro, because I realized I have an opportunity here. I'm Burning Dog Face, and I will see you on the next episode of Let's Play No More Heroes. When I head back in there, and I kick a bunch of asses, I think I've already gotten a gold on this one, but I will get money for it, and uh, that will make me feel better about myself. So, uh, wish me luck, Burning Dog fans. I'm going to need it. Later!